Hey gang, Redbeard here. Today we're gonna learn how to do audio, but with Rec Room Studio. It's so much easier to do, and it's so wicked cool. Let's go. Welcome back. So today I'm going to teach you how to do audio in Rec Room Studio. We'll import the track and then we'll set up all the Unity events. Uh, and then we'll go into screen mode and we'll come in here and see how it works. Uh, we'll put it all together, wire everything, and the end result is going to be this. You'll have two buttons. You'll have a play button and a stop button uh, and it'll play and stop the music. and then stop stops the playback. All right, so let's hop into screen mode. Uh, actually, let's hop into Unity and I'll show you how to do those circuits. Uh, let's, do, let's do this audio thing. So first thing you wanna do over here on the left is hit the plus, go to audio, audio source. I'm gonna name this uh, tutorial audio source. So let's look at this real quick. You've got uh, the position of it is all uh, it, it centers it where your screen is pointed. So if we hit here, we can go uh, reset position. This moves it to the very center of the room. So let's go ahead and just move this up here. Okay, and then in the inspector panel, you see you've got the audio clip, the output, and then you can mute it, bypass effects, uh, play on wake, which is when the room loads, it'll play. So I'm gonna actually turn that off. Can turn on loop this is good for ambience uh, but i'm going to turn that off as well then you've got priority volume pitch stereo pan spatial blend uh, reverb zone mix and then your 3d sound settings if you're going to do 3d sound settings you have to slide this spatial blend all the way over to 3d but we're not going to do 3d because it's just music we're going to leave it on 2d okay the next thing you want to do is we need to make this a rec room object so that we can get those Unity events. So way to do that, drag this up into your folders and then scroll down to here where it says add component. And we're gonna add a rec room object component. And you can see on the left here, it's now orange and it's got content inside of it. So if we click open prefab, it'll open that. And we still have all the same settings here, but we also have these Unity events. So we're gonna start at the top here. We've got audio clip. This is the sound file that's going to play. So I'm just gonna drag this one in here. And then you have to choose this output group. So by default, it shows you all of your rooms. Uh, but what you wanna do is pick one of these ones on top. So this will map to the sound settings within Rec Room. In this case, it's music, so I'm gonna set it to the music. And you wanna do that to honor your player's settings. If they have music turned down, you want it to turn down the music. So we'll choose that one. And then here's where the fun starts. I typically change music into decoration. If you leave it environmental, people will bump into it and you don't wanna do that. So we'll turn it into decoration. And then right here under Unity Events, we're gonna add a Unity event. I'm gonna call this one Play. Now you're gonna to need to remember that later when we go into Rec Room. Then you hit the plus here and you wanna target your audio source. And then the function, audio source, we're gonna choose play. Now let's add another one. We're gonna call this stop. Hit plus on the Unity event. Again, target your source. And then choose your audio source, stop. Now whatever you call this name, this event name, so I've called it play, uh, that'll become important when you get into game and you use those studio events. So remember what you put there. The last piece you wanna put on here is I'm gonna put a, uh, a box collider. This allows me to move it around with the maker pen so I can organize my circuits. Now we get out of the prefab and then we're gonna to go to Rec Room Studio and we're gonna hit upload and build. All right, hey, welcome back. We're here in Rec Room. I'm gonna show you how to do these circuits. Uh, pretty straightforward, not a lot of chips. Uh, and I'll try to explain what each of them are doing as we as we do it. 
Uh, quick note, I produced this song. Um, if you really like it, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll send you a link to it. All right, cool. Let's go, let's go look at how to do this. Okay, somewhere over here is, a, is the audio source. Uh, pull out your maker pen and we can see it. There it is, nice. Okay, it's in a good spot. If you wanted to move it, take your move tool and just click below it and you'll get the cube. Uh, that's because we put the box collider on it. Now we can grab it, move it around in Rec Room. Okay, you're gonna need a few things. Let's use a button. Let's just put this one right about here. And then you need what's called a studio event sender. So this is from Rec Room Studio, send an event into Rec Room. Think of it that way. Put this one here. Now we need two of these, so let's just go ahead and select both of these. Oops, that's the audio. There we go. And then we're gonna clone this to the left. Move it a smidge. We're just gonna keep our, our workspace a little bit clean. I'm gonna grab these two as well. Ooh, I didn't grab the button. So see how I grabbed the music? Let's deselect that. There we go. I'm gonna move these over quite a bit just to make it easier so we don't keep selecting the audio. There we go. Okay, now let's connect some things. First thing we're gonna do is connect this play to here. And we'll connect this one to here. While we're here, let's, uh, let's name our buttons so that everybody knows what's going on. We're gonna call this one stop. And we'll call this one play. Okay, so when I hit this button, what's it gonna do? Um, well, first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to stop the music. This label, this value, is what I put in Unity when we did the Unity events. All right, so now what we need to do so now what we want to do is we're going to connect the stop. So it's not connected to anything. What is it we want to stop? We want to stop this audio from playing. Okay, and same with the play. What do we want to play? We want it to play the audio. Now if we configure this event here, we're going to call this play. Hit done. Now when we hit these buttons, we should be able to play the music. Yeah. All right, that's that that's about it, really. Um a couple of Unity events. Unity event senators in Rec Room, wire them up, configure things. Pretty straightforward. All right, if you get stuck, just rewatch this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you dig that song, uh, let me know in the comments as well, and maybe I'll drop a link to it. All right, well, go. Go have a good day. Listen to some awesome music. You're still here? What are you, what are you doing? Go. 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 Go away. The video's over. Go home. But no, seriously, um, beat it.